performing the manoeuvre called the greeting. It's almost as if the American Air Force transport plane is waving its wings. <laughs> Meanwhile, above the clouds, at the altitude of 10,000 metres, fighter jets perform their manoeuvres. Ukraine brought almost all of its fleet of fighter jets to the clear skies military drills. Here is the Ukrainian Air Force Su-24, in the middle with the Su-27s on the flanks. Those were followed by the American F-15s. And the MiGs are ready for takeoff. Our correspondent says the MiG-29 fourth generation fighter jet is also ready for takeoff. It will carry out a joint mission with an American F-15. This is the first time F-15 pilots have joint flights and sparrings with Ukrainian counterparts. They have very good electronic systems that allow detecting targets at a greater distance. But we have equipment to prevent them doing that to a full extent. And that's when tactical prowess decides the outcome. Ukrainian fighter pilots had a chance to learn more about the machines used by their American colleagues. And some things came as a surprise. Up to 20 minutes past. Ukrainian armed forces representatives met with the U.S. Air Force recently to gain expertise and strengthen the military partnership between the two countries. A group of Ukrainian officers visited the Ramstein Air Base and Kapwan Air Station in Germany from August 2 to 6. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Roper, 435th Contingency Response Support Squadron Commander said that the visit is a positive step to determine how U.S. and Ukrainian forces can cooperate and interoperate in the future. The visit focused mainly on increasing partner capabilities by expanding the Ukrainian military's capacity for fundamental air traffic control and combat communications concepts. This comes after the country recently acquired two navigational aids for one of its airfields. The Ukrainian forces also spoke with USAF subject matter experts on navigational aid benefits and standard operating procedures to safely manage airspace. Master Sergeant Michael Yeager, 435th CRSS Air Traffic Control Air Advisor, said that the visit also built friendships as the forces of the two countries exchanged stories and career experiences. In recent years, the United States has stepped up arms sales to Ukraine. In 2019, the U.S. approved Ukraine's purchase of Javelin missiles and launch units at an estimated cost of nearly $40 million. The sale came in the midst of an ongoing war in the country against eastern separatists backed by the Russian government. This conflict broke out in 2014 when Russia annexed Crimea. So far, the U.S. has provided more than $1 billion in military and security aid to Ukraine since 2014.